To celebrate the Run for the Roses, I've partnered with William Sonoma and the Kentucky Derby to bring Churchill Downs to your home with recipes from my cookbook, Southern Grit. We're gonna work on one of my other very favorite recipes for the book. And this one's a little surprising to do at a party because you don't typically think healthier foods and you definitely don't think okra all the time, but okra is a staple in the South. So for me, I'm always looking for ways to incorporate it. So these are my okra fries. There's nothing fried about them. They're gonna go in the oven at a very high temperature and get some nice crispiness to it. And then we're gonna show you how to do what I call cheat sauces. So they're very, very easy sauces. It's a great little snackable thing to have. Just something bright and a little different and unusual to have at your Kentucky Derby party. All right, all, so we're just gonna toss these in some olive oil and then onion powder, garlic powder, celery seed, and tahini, which is one of my very favorite seasoning, as well as a little bit of salt and pepper. You wanna generously toss this. You wanna make sure all this okra is nice and evenly coated, also really coated in seasoning. That's really gonna do the trick. All right, now we're gonna just evenly distribute these on a sheet tray lined with parchment or foil, just to make sure these don't get too burnt. Now this is just like anything that you're trying to get really crispy, y'all. You don't want to overcrowd it. So don't be too crazy about trying to make sure that they're perfectly spaced out, but definitely make sure they're not piled on top of each other. So enough room in that pan is definitely key. If you need to do this in two batches, definitely do that or move to an even larger pan. These are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And you wanna make sure you stir these about halfway through just to be sure they're getting evenly cooked and also consistently cooked. What is a cheat sauce? It's what every chef in the world does, which is hello mayonnaise, mixed with a lot of different other things to make it just a little bit tastier. And in this case, I'm gonna focus on this barbecue sriracha aioli, which is also mayonnaise, guys. Um, so we're just gonna add in a little bit of sriracha in your favorite barbecue sauce. That's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat. And this is a great little dipper for your okra fries, just like if you were gonna dip a french fry. All right, y'all, if you know anything about the Kentucky Derby, you know that it's not complete without the roses, the fashion, and the mint juleps. To get the full menu and enter a chance to win a trip to next year's Kentucky Derby, head to williamsonoma.com slash Kentucky Derby and KentuckyDerbyAtHome.com for more inspiration on your at-home Kentucky Derby party.